Thanks to Michael Gordon with the New York Times. Uh, sir, just following up on your uh, last point on the tough fights ahead, um, looking towards the middle Euphrates River Valley, um, it seems there are two sets of issues there. One is how to deconflict military operations there with Syrian government forces, Russian air operations, Iranian-backed militias, and also which um, force that, you su that the United States supports will do the fighting how to make a, a force like the SDF, which has a Kurdish element acceptable to the local population, perhaps by incorporating uh, more Arabs. Can you please address these two points? Have you worked out deconfliction arrangements with the Russians for the uh, operations in the, in, in the middle Euphrates River Valley? And which force will do the fighting there? And how are you going to make that force acceptable to the local population? Okay, uh, thanks, Michael. Uh, so uh, first, your question, you know, you pointed out that uh, the final stand of ISIS uh, will be in the middle Euphrates River Valley. And that's the area that uh, lies on both sides of the uh, Iraq-Syrian border, from about Deir ez-Zor in Syria down to Rawa in Iraq, uh, over 250 kilometers. Uh, all these forces will converge there. If ISIS is making their last stand, you're pointing out that all the forces will converge there and how will we deconflict all of that. Uh, we've actually had some practice doing this. Um, you may recall back in February, uh, all these same actors uh, converged around a town called uh, Al-Bab up to the east of Aleppo. And uh, we deconflicted that uh, successfully. And then you may recall, uh, probably in the May-June time frame, uh, all these same actors uh, converged again south of Raqqa uh, in the area of the Tabqa uh, city and Tabqa airfield. We were able to work through that then, and uh, those uh, rehearsals, if you will, have allowed us to come up with uh, measures that seem to work. So uh, we're having a conversation. Uh, with the Russians, we're trying to deconflict this uh, in the future, and uh, we have uh, lines that are agreed to that will cover uh, much of the Middle Euphrates River Valley now. Uh, not all of it yet, uh, but we'll get to that when the time comes. So I'm reasonably confident that uh, we'll be able to work through this. Uh, everyone that's converging down there is trying to defeat ISIS as a first priority. And uh, we'll use that to our advantage to work through it. Uh, your second question about um, how will we ensure that there's a suitable force uh, to go to this area and liberate this area. Well, first of all, uh, I'm not sure it's our responsibility to assure the, ensure that. Um, I think uh, what we have is we're supporting Syrians liberating Syria. And... Um, our Syrian partners have shown a remarkable uh, facility for finding uh, suitable partners. Uh, in fact, uh, I watched them do this in Manbij, I watched them do this in Tabqa, and now I'm watching them do it for the third time in Raqqa. And uh, you mentioned uh, a Kurd force, but the Syrian Democratic Forces uh, uh, comprise of about 50,000 fighters, half of whom are Arabs. And um, what I've watched with this force is that they, uh, first of all, uh, solicit volunteers and recruits from the area to be liberated. And they form the leading elements of the force uh, from those uh, people. Uh, so I think that uh, they'll, they'll, they'll do this much the same way they're doing it in Raqqa. Uh, they'll uh, recruit people from the Deir Ezzor province, um, and the middle Euphrates River Valley, and the, they'll be part of the campaign. And um, I'm uh, reasonably confident, based on past history, that uh, they'll find a force, they'll make a force that's acceptable uh, to the people down there. Now, I'll just give you a little vignette we see playing out around uh, Raqqa and Tabqa uh, every day. Um, it doesn't really matter what that force uh, is comprised of, you know, the ethnic background, uh, religious background, 
Uh, what we see is we see people fleeing towards the, our Syrian partners every day. They're fleeing from ISIS towards uh, our Syrian partners. They're fleeing from the Syrian regime towards our Syrian partners because they know that there's a uh, safety uh, there. Uh, so anyway, uh, with, with that experience, um, I'm reasonably confident that that force will also find uh, suitable partners to defeat ISIS in the middle Euphrates River Valley. Next to